Hello everyone, my name is Joe Pizzini with RenderStream. Today we'll be taking a look at Octane Render by Refractive Software, and we'll be running this demo on our 8 GPU VDAC TR8. In this video, we'll take a look at the interactivity speed one can expect to see while running Octane on an 8 GPU system. We'll also take a look at how you can use Octane Render for final rendering, as well as how the performance scales from 1 to 8 GPUs. To give you a brief overview of the system, we're using dual 6-core Xeon processors, 8 NVIDIA GTX 580 GPUs, 24 gigabytes of main memory, and two 80 gigabyte Intel solid state drives. Okay, so let's move on to the demonstration. So as you can see, we have several GPUs here, and all eight are enabled. The scene we're working with today was created by 3D artist Enrico Serica, and as you can see, it's a fairly detailed interior space. I'm sure many of you are aware that interior scenes are usually much more taxing on the renderer than, say, an exterior scene or certain studio setups. So now I'll just spend some time interacting with the scene, moving the camera around, and changing the lighting. As you can see, the eight GPUs converge on a very high quality result very quickly. Keep in mind that Octane Render is an unbiased ray tracer, and as I'm showing you here, things like global illumination, glossy surfaces, and depth of field are being computed in near real time. Regarding the resolution, the interactive viewport you're seeing measures 1500 by 1000 pixels, and this was simply chosen to provide a nice large area for this demonstration. I would like to point out that the artifacts produced by the video compression are making it appear as though the eight GPUs are taking longer than they actually did to settle on a final quality result. Okay, well I'll go ahead and let the rest of this portion of the demo play out. If you wish, you can skip ahead to time three minutes and 40 seconds. There we will discuss final render output with Octane Render. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and show you how Octane Render handles final render output. In this first example, I'll render out a frame of animation using just one GPU. When this is finished, I'll render out a similar frame using all eight GPUs using the exact same settings. As far as the render settings go, they were pretty basic. I set the quality to high at 1024 samples per pixel, and I disabled motion blur, thinking that it wasn't really necessary for this demo. So as you can see, our rendering has already started, and you can notice the progress in the bottom left corner just below the viewport. Ultimately, this single GPU will render this frame in about 1 minute and 31 seconds. Feel free to skip ahead to time 5 minutes and 40 seconds, where I'll demo the 8 GPUs rendering a similar frame.
Okay, so now I'll render out the same frame, only this time I'll enable all eight of my GPUs. And just like before, all I'll do for the render settings is set the samples per pixel to 1024 and I'll disable motion blur. Again, you'll notice the progress of the rendering in the bottom left corner just below the viewport. This time the rendering completes in about 11 seconds, which essentially demonstrates perfect performance scaling when ramping up from 1 to 8 GPUs. RenderStream VDAC products are the ideal solutions for anyone who wants to take advantage of GPU accelerated renderers such as Octane. You certainly owe it to yourself to give Octane Render a shot if you haven't done so. It's easily one of the fastest unbiased ray tracers I've seen, and since the performance scales so nicely, you can get very predictable results when adding more GPUs to your render farm. Okay, well that about does it for this Octane Render demonstration. One other thing I'd like to point out is that our VDAC systems are available with anywhere from 2 to 8 GPUs, and we likely have the optimal solution to meet your needs and budget. One last thing, if you like us on Facebook, you can get regular updates on our various articles and demo videos relating to high-end hardware in the CG industry. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.